So you've been talking a pretty big pizza oven game. Who, me? Yeah. What do you mean? And you've been telling me that we're gonna get three rows done, we're gonna get this finished in this video, we're gonna do it all in one day. No, 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 I said we're gonna do three rows, I didn't say we're gonna finish. Three rows is not finishing. Three rows, rows is pretty close to finishing. Well, what do you say? I don't think it's, I, I, I think we just need to stop talking and stop working. We're also hiding down here on the ground behind this cement wall because we're getting 50 mile an hour winds today, so. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> Here's the task at hand. This is the project of the day. The pizza oven. For those of you guys that have been watching, you know, this thing has been quite the challenge. And now it's just gonna get harder and harder as the angle increases up and up more. Lo love. Um, uh, no. Uh Shoot! No! I'm being serious. That was my boy. Check that. Let's check all four sides, please. Sometimes the best tool you got is your hands. I was gonna say you just don't care anymore, huh? You just Winnie pooing the concrete. I'm straight up Winnie pooing it. <laughs> it's working out great, honestly. Kaylee's been begging me to get a pottery set, like a throwing wheel, a kiln. Since we've been working with concrete and cement and all this stuff, she just really wants to do pottery. <laughs> I was like, honey, where are we gonna put all this stuff? <laughs> Once we get our patio, this is gonna be my spot. She also wants a bow and arrow. Honey, we live on a farm. <laughs> what do you need a bow we and arrow for? We gotta start hunting for food and making our own bowls and plates. You dripped a little sausage juice and now Lola's just trying to figure out how to get it. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it's like, how can I get in there? Oh, no, no, no. Go back, honey. <laughs> I know, I know. You guys are already telling me in the comments, what the heck are you doing using concrete with honey, no gloves? you want to make pottery. It makes sense. <laughs> <sighs> the concrete is taking all of the moisture out of my fingers. So you can see they're all like wrinkly. And these, these two fingers, which I've been using the most, have little like cuts on them. Good to go. I'm gonna put some gloves on and we're back in business. It always feels like an absolute win when I can get her down for her afternoon naps easily. The last few days, she's been fighting her naps and fighting her naps and fighting her naps. But I'm just whipping up some lunch now. Jordan just ran to the hardware store to get some more bricks. And while the food's cooking, I'm setting it and forgetting it so I can do a little five minute breathing meditation. Get mama back into her equilibrium. Well, that lasted a solid maybe 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> her naps have not been very long when she's in her crib. But one thing that Jordan and I have been talking about, I'm getting deep now, you guys. I'm, I'm starting to you know, get a little deep here, a little emotional. But I genuinely feel like since having her, it has made us so much more appreciative of the little things. And I think the reason why is that being with her makes us more present in the moment. It makes us slow down a little bit. It makes us present with everything that we're doing because we know that she's observing everything we're doing. So we're trying to be very, very introspective, very present with ourselves as individuals, as parents. Like we said before, having her has just enhanced our lives so incredibly much and yeah, heck yeah, it's challenging sometimes. I can definitely say that 
First best thing that's ever happened to me was meeting Jordan. Second best thing that's ever happened to me is this little girl right here. It's time to start building the arch door. I'm pretty intimidated by this, especially some of these bricks are gonna be totally vertical. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this form out. So I think I'm just gonna put a couple shims underneath this. So when the time comes to pull it out, I can just pull the shims out, it'll be a lot easier. That's all I got for today. Getting pretty tired. It's cold outside, it's about 55, which is very unlikely for Panama. I know some of you right now are like, 55, it's winter time. We're in one of the coldest places in all of Panama, this mountaintop. It doesn't get much colder in this country than right here. So I'm really excited for the day that we get this pizza oven ripping, because it's gonna be 900 degrees in there. No, I'm not gonna wanna be in there, at least it'll help warm up this space a little bit, but you can see the door here. These bricks I have to make look a lot better because you're actually gonna see these where with this, we've just been like slapping it on there all rough because it doesn't matter. I am very scared about the day that we take this form off in these hammers. I just don't want this thing to crumble. But I guess we'll find out maybe tomorrow or maybe in a few days. I'm gonna try to leave this here to let this dry for as long as possible. So it's been another one of those really challenging days where I really wasn't able to do a whole lot. So Jordan's calling it quits. He's been working hard all day. He's taking Sadie duty. You can kind of hear her. She's getting overtired. And I'm just gonna go through here and fill all of these cracks that he kind of left undone. And we have a bunch more of the cement mix left. So I might as well use it up. Don't waste it. Fill in as much of the cracks as I can. And then the workday will be over. Well, it's coming along, you guys. Slowly, slowly, very slowly. <laughs> but surely. It looks so good on the inside. Um, the brick is really starting to look really nice. The outside, not so much, but just a reminder, you're not gonna see this part. Daddy and Sadie are having a blast. <laughs> What's oh going on, baby? She's been belly laughing. She's been like, she's like, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Go to the bridge. Under the bridge and chair. Is where I drew some blood. All right, honey buns. Awesome. So what are we gonna do? Are, are you gonna eat first and then? Let's try to put. We can try to put her down. As I've been going up, I've really started to understand the importance of soaking the bricks. I've soaked all of these, but what I haven't been soaking is like yesterday when we finished this and stopped here, I can't soak this brick now. So I kind of just put this brick on that was soaking, but the dry brick just like uh, sucks all the moisture and just like, like immediately. So I'm trying something new with a wet towel and I'm just gonna keep it on the brick and then just keep wetting it and putting it on there so we can get wet. 
because it's really, really important. And you can kind of see that these fire bricks really need to be wet for this cement to work properly. Oh, you made the same mistake that I did. What is, what is it? What is the mistake? <laughs> what is the mistake? Wow. You got, tra you got transitions, huh? Yeah. So my first pair of glasses, I got transitions too. What's about new? The bad news is like you walk inside and you still have sunglasses on for like 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes. I'm telling you. I'm yeah, but that was like 10 years ago. Any of you guys like transitions? Because my experience with transitions were no good. He, you might love them. I love them. But when you just walk into the grocery store and you know you have sunglasses on, you're looking for strawberries. Oh, honey, the transition nowadays. Let That's me what tell they you. always say. That's Back what they always the say. <laughs> they make them different nowadays. You know, when I started going bald, my mom was like, Listen, they're gonna be able to give you a pill and you're gonna grow a full head of hair. They still don't have that. <laughs> they still don't. Honey, you're not going bald, you're just going gray. It's okay. <laughs> You wanna know the best part? What? We haven't even started the hard part yet. That's all just happening now with like seven different angles. Did you take any trigonometry classes in college? I didn't. I didn't go to college. <laughs> Say it. I moved into a bus instead. <laughs> so we're realizing we made a little bit of a boo-boo. We realized that we made the door one block too big. One block too high. So now it's making it very, very challenging to figure out how to tie in the dome part with the door part. You see how it doesn't catch? We really want that. I wanted this to catch right on that block. I think we've come to a decision that it will just be way easier to cut one of these blocks out and drop it down than it would be to try and make this work. I mean, we can make it work, but I feel like we're gonna be working on this for weeks. Yeah. Nice. Woo! I know. We don't have much time on our hands. I mean, there are many, 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 many pizzas waiting to be made. Okay. All right, I've cleaned the blocks up as good as I can. I've cut this exactly one block shorter, this form here. Now what I'm doing is I just have some wet cloths sitting on these blocks just so they can absorb some moisture. And that's just so the refractory cement forms the proper bond. So I'm just gonna wait about 30 minutes and then We'll see, the sun's setting, it's about five. We'll see if I can get this all done today, I'd really love to. Do you guys know what time it is? No. The guy at the produce stand must think I'm absolutely insane because I'm, I'm there probably every one to two days getting an entire <laughs> bundle of coconuts. It's insane how much this thing weighs. This is probably like, 50 pounds right here. Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall in the major leagues. The baffle king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just waiting for this to dry now and then I just gotta do a little bit of clean up, but I just wanna show you guys Two of my favorite parts of the day. Number one is sunset, and number two is puppy playtime. <laughs> it is cold! George's taking a shower.
It's your first time really having solid food, huh? Today is gonna be the hardest day of working on this pizza oven so far. It's gonna be the most frustrating. It's gonna be the most challenging. It's just gonna be one of those days where we're trying to make pieces fit and I don't know trigonometry. And if I knew trigonometry, this would be like pow, 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 pow. But there's gonna be a lot of like multiple angle cuts going on here because we're connecting this door to this dome. And while this dome, it goes this way, this door is vertical and we need to find a way to like make those blocks mesh. And because I don't know trigonometry, it's just gonna be placing the block and cutting a little and placing the block and cutting a little and placing the block and because cutting a little. Because what's the bobism of the day, honey? What is it? You... Hold on, let me think about it. <laughs> Give me a minute. You can always cut more, but you can't cut less. <laughs> We want to get it over here. Right. So like the next, the next one's gonna have to go like this, and the next last one's gonna have to go like this. I'm thinking about cutting this one. We've gotten to the hardest part of this whole thing, and that's when these blocks start getting vertical. Right now, if I take this piece of wood off of this block, it's just gonna slide off and fall. So what we're doing is we're using these sticks to hold them up just for like 30 to 45 minutes just for the refractory cement to dry and just so they don't slide off and fall in. And as we keep going, that's just gonna become more and more important. This is our absolute last chance to do this, so we're doing it right now. You can see all this film. So Kaylee's working on this now, and you guys might not know this about Kaylee, but she absolutely hates chemicals. She hates chemicals with everything. She thought that there was chemicals on the peppers that we put in our chili the other day. There 100% was pesticide <laughs> So she doesn't eat the chili, so I get to eat all the chili. That's it for today, you guys. Got a lot of progress. Got a row done. More importantly, we cleaned all this cement from in here that we could. It looks so good, honey. It looks a lot better. This was kind of a lesson learned to clean really, really, really good as you go. I mean, we were cleaning, especially on the inside, because I knew that this is what you're gonna see. And even on this arch, like I cleaned this arch really good, and you can see, there's just a lot of cement still on it, so this is a lesson learned next time. Really, really clean it good as we go. But we've cleaned everything that we need to to keep going, and we're gonna finish this thing up in the next one, I promise you. Oh God, are we, are the, we sure? <laughs> the, do the dome will be done in the next video. <laughs>